Joel on True Centurions, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command. I'm Ryan Plus, my name is Fleet Admiral Tarek of the Dreadnought R.A.S. Morte. As we continue our campaign against the Soul Systems, let's get underway. Yes, uh, I don't want to waste any time with this. I want to get right back into the fight, right back into the battle, and back into more homeworld assaults. Why? Because we have like eight more missions of this. Uh, granted, I'm enjoying the fights. Frankly, I, I like homeworld assaults. They tend to be pretty interesting. But we have eight more of these to do before we actually manage to take this planet because we're knocking this uh, Empire defense down by about five uh, five points each time. So uh, it is taking a little bit of time to do that. So uh, with that in mind, let's kick everything into full power, full gear, and full weapons systems. Do exactly what we want. Our electronic warfare, of course, more emphasis on being able to stop theirs than do anything about ours. We are currently squaring off against a... Oh, no, I guess we hit the wrong button. I meant to hit Y, which is going to select the enemies. But no, I hit you, which is us, because that makes sense. Anyway, we are escorted today by IKV Avenger, as well as the B-11 battleship IKV Dam Slayer. A damn slayer. Uh, squaring off against what does appear to be a heavy dreadnought. Uh, not quite sure the class, but uh, that's certainly a lot of firepower. And there it is. There's a battleship. What kind of battleship BUB? It is a BBX standard type. So uh, quite a bit of firepower crammed into there. But then again, we also brought a B11, which is the Klingon equivalent of the B of the Federation BB. Sort of. Ish. I want to say the BB is closer to a B10. Because the BBX, uh, the B11 is pretty hilariously big. So uh, just based on pure position, we're going to go after the Dreadnought. The uh, Heavy Dreadnought. Because we're better positioned to go after... Oh, actually... Uh, hitting this battleship with a round of enveloping plasma torpedoes will set him up to be completely picked apart by the Klingon vessels for the rest of the match. Their disruptors will charge every turn. They're accurate at medium to long range, best at close range, and it'll just be constant damage on through. So yeah, uh, we are changing our tactics. We're going to have to go for this Dreadnought. It's, there's just so much opportunity that is presented by doing so. So let's get the speed up a bit, making sure that we don't get intercepted by the DNH. And uh, yeah, his ECM, he realized he's not going to be able to out-ECM us. <laughs> not if he wants to... Uh, not if he wants to hide himself, which he does. He is putting a lot of points into his ECCM. So I'm assuming the B-11 is... I guess not. No. Oh, no, that's a fighter. Yes. <laughs> wow. The B-11 is currently pumping out six points of electronic warfare. That is impressive. So we're in a relatively... Are you coming for me? Nope, you're going for the B-11. Excellent. So that works wonderfully for us. We're going to, of course, prepare our pseudo-plasma torpedoes. See if we can't get him to crash stop. He may actually try and eat them. Uh, he is a battleship. He may not care if we fire them from too far out. So we will engage with pseudo-plasma torpedoes now. And immediately begin a port hand turn, which is perfect because he decided to go a bit starboard. Which will mean we will be able to curl out around and get behind him. If he, of course, decides to activate a wild weasel, which he did. Okay, there's his crash stop. So we're going to continue to keep coming around here. Uh, let them duel with as they need to. And while we do that, we're going to launch our pseudo frigates in harassment mode. Keep them on the edge of the fight, not getting too close. Hopefully, they're also far enough away from the DNH that uh, he won't get involved. Heavy plasma torpedoes are selected as we curl on in here. Uh, I assume you are the uh, the wild weasel. Yes, you work. I like start getting all plasma torpedoes. Come on, we need the port side ones involved in this too. And now we'll flow. And we'll slow down. Plasma torpedoes to normal mode. There we go. That, that's exactly what we needed. And you launched another shuttle. Which turned out to be a scatter pack on us. Which we're in full cloak. Come on, man. That doesn't seem fair. Also, you just launched a wild weasel. That is doubly unfair. Uh, however, his shields are pretty much for the most part gone. Although our pseudo frigates are a little bit in trouble. We've managed to shake three of them. But three more are coming in. Hopefully they'll die off. Can I pick up a little bit more speed to try and get out of here in time? Oh, uh, it's down to two, but I think we're going to take the hit. That's no fair game. One, will we take that hit? Yeah, we took the hit, which is not fun. The game, I'm not quite pleased with uh, the fact that you would do that to us. But I suppose we don't have much of a choice. We're in a decent position here, so we're going to decloak. Also, because I'd like you to stop shooting my pseudo frigates. He has uh, discovered and realized that if he destroys our pseudo frigates, one, it costs us a lot of cash, and two, it takes away a lot of firepower, and you are getting way too close to him for comfort. He is plinking away, blasting at the fighters, trying to get something on through, but he's not doing too much. I think uh, we're going to lash out here and disappear. 
because that's a lot of firepower and I don't want to be too close to him when it hits. So hopefully we'll be able to pass through without getting hit too much here. He's really focusing on the pseudo frigates. Yep, he's taking the lessons to heart. Oh, one of them's coming out of cloak. Uh, it was you and he is turning around quite harshly. Hopefully he's taking quite a bit of damage. He's got a single two plasma torpedoes left. Uh, we're going to order him to return as soon as he launches them because he, he desperately needs a repair work here. And return to me. Get you back on board. How are you doing? Also quite heavily dented. You return and you return. Everybody get home. That way we can now uh, focus on the battle. You get, get back home. Oh crap. No. Get on top of us. Get on top of us before you get killed. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. That's frustrating. He was coming back home for the hangar and just couldn't make it back in time. Let's uh, build a little bit of distance back out here so that we can decloak without getting blasted off the face of the planet by Gatling phasers. Still, we are going to get blasted by uh, a lot of other weapons. So come in and cloak. All weapons select. Pseudo torpedoes fire them all. Phasers. See if we can't cause a little light plinking damage. Uh, we'll send another F his way. Maybe that'll prompt him to try and jump. Oh, we got a lot of incoming firepower now. So we will, of course, go Tractor Defenses to active. And us type Blasma Torpedo, that'll probably bait out the response we want. Uh, and we'll also go to the shield and point defense phasers activate. Let's pull away so that we don't uh, risk ourselves too much, because if we get too close, he'll be able to engage with a lot of heavy weapons we don't want him to be able to engage with. Also, a lot of his phasers are offline, which is pretty impressive. Plasma Torpedoes, uh, we'll launch an S just as soon as we can. There it goes, right in his face. And he didn't stop that. There goes another shot. Phasers, return fire, and cloak. He did get through, but I don't think he did too much damage. He didn't take any points of energy off. And he didn't knock on any systems. Although he did take out a couple of labs. So our shield recharge rate is a little bit low. But being cloaked here, we're perfectly safe. How's that heavy dreadnought doing? Dead. Although it, that's kind of to be expected. I mean, they are a B, they were a, uh, a C10 and a B11. Oh, nothing too scary there. Although I do find it kind of funny that we were, we were basically owning a BBX on our own. And we're just a one. We are an order of magnitude smaller than he is. USS Permit currently under fire from a massive missile barrage. And getting hit by mines. Wow, that, that stacked up to a lot. The AI does not get heavy missiles because reasons, I guess. But uh, that was still quite a bit of firepower there. Three mines stacked right on top, and he blew up to the mines. Oh, that's kind of sad. We are currently staring a PLPH in the face, so let's decloak plasma torpedoes to enveloping mode. And as soon as we come out of cloak, we will, of course, fire our long-range probes. Find out exactly what it is we're dealing with. Increase the speed of time. We're anticipating uh, the eight, eight phaser fours, eight photon torpedoes, 16 phaser threes. It's standard for most of them. And that's exactly what we got. Okay. So no concern there at all. We'll just steadily go on in and let the B10 and the or the B11 and the C10 sort of do the do the heavy lifting for us. They should get shot at the most. Although the AI, if they're smart, they'll target us and try and kill us. Uh, we are at maximum speed of time and the maximum speed that I feel like going. Nah, we'll, we can go a little bit faster. As long as we're not the main target, we can go a little bit faster. It is starting to fire its long-range photon torpedoes. Hasn't managed to get a hit yet. But it's still trying, and there goes the phasers. Those are, they're accurate, and they're powerful, and they're amazing. And we've only been able to ever use those once because we did a, uh, we did a random interlude mission once where we played as a Beast Raiders uh, monster. Because the Beast Raiders get, a they're a pirate faction. They get access to uh, certain interstellar monsters, such as the phaser monster with the phaser core. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's start slowing down. We, uh, we need to start sieging at a range of about 15 and uh, staying undercover all the way after that. So, way slow down. We don't want to get too close. Let him continue to blast away at the, uh, at the little ones. And wow, they've already gotten through the shields. That's actually kind of impressive. Uh, slowly, a little bit closer. Heavy plasma torpedoes selected. Fire all the heavy plasmas and stop. And we'll let them do their work. Hitting, knocking out all the shields left. And uh, we're just gonna sit here and tank the damage. Because I think we can. Although that does, of course, mean that we're sitting here for three turns doing nothing. Which I'm fine with, because as long as they're continuing to point away with their disruptors, that'll work for me. 
and light phaser fire, I guess. Although it's kind of funny that they're staying in a range of 15, considering their firepower. Uh, let's do you and you. We're just doing that to eat up the, uh, the 16 phaser threes. Make sure that we deal the maximum damage that we can. Still taking a little bit of damage. Uh, nothing's gotten through the shield since that one barrage from the permit. But still, under fire, which is never quite fun. How are you on Marines? We really should keep up with that. Uh, three. Okay, increase speed. Yeah, he, he's out of weapons. I know. Probe. He's got none. So now we just get right on top of the target and annihilate it with everything we've got. Or by annihilate, I mean just board. So all the plasma torpedoes that we've got. Sliming to the planet for 243 damage. That's not bad. And... Slow down. Send over the Marines and do their work, and we will uh, be able to capture ourselves another planet. We've already taken Venus, we've taken Mercury, we've taken Mars. So I'm gonna guess this is Io. Because I think Io looks kind of tan, doesn't it? Am I remembering my solar system right? Just trying to think of something that kind of matches the color. Homeworld captured, so excellent work, everybody. I think I forgot to reduce the speed of time, we're gonna have to keep that in mind. And another decent amount of prestige. We're up to 10,417, which is really good because uh, pretty soon we're going to be able to purchase another King Condor. And when that happens, uh, we'll be able to start pushing out the absolute massive hilarious amounts of Alpha Strike firepower that we used to be able to. So another homeworld assault. Hit that red alert. It's a DNL. Ha, ah, how cute. Uh, we are escorted today by the IKV Dare Slayer and the IKV Deed Slayer. And slow down the speed of time because we forgot. Yeah, a DNLX and PL-15. So PL-15, not exactly well defended. It doesn't have a super heavy phaser armament. Set our plasma torpedoes to enveloping, of course. Looks like the Dreadnought decided to push out a little bit in that direction, although I do believe there is a target over there. There it is. And you're a heavy Dreadnought or a guided Dreadnought? I'm gonna guess heavy. It is a heavy Dreadnought. Okay, so we're gonna focus on you, obviously. Let's go and make sure that we are up to our normal tricks. Four and two. Uh, shield reinforcement on the forward shield only to the maximum reinforcement that we can make it work and we'll uh, basically take all our energy and throw it into speed so we can get over here and then kill him while the uh, C8 and the C9 deal with the light dreadnought and then we'll go in and bombard the planet and that's as fast as we can possibly go let's increase the speed of time we're going to try and avoid slash ignore the DNL for a little bit uh, hopefully he'll get involved with a battle against the uh, C8 and now the C9, which is between us and them. So we should be able to engage this Dreadnought on our own without too much trouble. Reduce speed time back to normal. Select our two plasma torpedoes that we use for this sort of thing. And fire the zeros and start to slow down so we get some energy into that forward shield. We need some defensive firepower. And let's see if he buys it. He should buy it. I'm hoping he buys it. There's the crash stop. And we would have hit him if we had fired all weapons. Although I assume that would just have made him uh, deploy his his uh, wild weasel further out. We're down to two pseudo frigates, which is expensive and annoying, but we shall overcome and persevere. We're about four missions, uh, three and a half missions away from being able to afford a King Condor. So he started to accelerate, select all heavy plasma torpedoes, curl on in. Let's hit him with a brick. So all the plasma that we can manage, keep coming around. We need the port side involved as well. And leave my pseudo frigates alone, you jerk. Poke, because we are going to get rather close to him, and I don't want to take the hits. There we go. Causing a decent amount of damage on through. Plasma torpedoes, set them back to normal. That way we have the energy. And we'll pull away there. The USS Wallace is our target. Another plasma torpedo that it's going to have to eat, and it doesn't have much choice in the matter. Oh, just taking the hits. By this point, I assume we're through its armor, and also he's probably uh, starting to lose power systems every time he gets hit. A whole bunch of photon torpedoes, and not a single one hit. Our cloak is that good. Uh, I don't want to get close to you. I would like you to um, let me build a little bit of distance from you so I can actually start, you know, coming out of cloak to skirmish. But if you keep facing towards me like that, I can't do that. Um, with that said, don't go after my pseudo frigates. You, you leave them alone. He's starting to pick up speed <coughs> to around 15. And we're going to try and get in there and stop him. So keep it coming around. And decloak. That'll free up a whole bunch of energy, make us seem like a more important threat, and he's really booking it now. Give me more energy in his speed. He's really trying to hunt down the pseudo frigates. Uh, more power. Let's chase him down. He's doing a speed of 19. 
Which, uh, remember how I said that he's probably been severely damaged in the engines? Yeah, apparently that was wrong. He has started to curl around on us. Our pseudo frigate decloaked at the worst possible moment. Managed to put a plasma torpedo right on into him. We lash out with our phaser fire from long range, so it wasn't particularly effective. Our starboard side plasma torpedoes are about to be uh, available, so we're going to flush all the missile pods right now. And we're going to come in and defensive that. Are you going to just eat that? Hi, phaser. Okay, okay. Works, works with that. All plasma torpedoes. Engage, engage. We've got a shot. All plasma. Come on. More plasma. Because if he launches scatter pack, he does not have a wow weasel. That was expensive. We'll plasma torpedo into his stern as we chase him down. Let's slow down a bit so we get some defensive energy back. Another good hit on that guy, that heavy dreadnought. More incoming missiles. Keep blinking away. We have more than enough tractor beams to handle this. And we're down to a single uh, super frigate. That's not cool. You have a lot of missiles. How do you have that many missiles? Phasers slowly working down on them. I'm not super happy about having to maintain these tractor beams. It does uh, cut into our power budget rather severely. And a long range fire from the uh, light dreadnought. It deciding to want to get involved in my action. Uh, let's continue to ruin his day. Hopefully he uh, will not have an opportunity to help. And we can just continue to blast away at his friend. Incoming more missiles, jeez. How many of these things you got? Okay. Um, phasers to defensive mode, please. Plasma torpedoes. Stop shooting at me. You have your own problems. You, you shouldn't be worrying about me. Hi, phasers. Um, oh, we have the arc. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I pressed it before I thought. I did not think. And that think not thinking cost us. It caused us a 50 damage plasma torpedo. Oh, that's painful. Can I get more plasma to shoot at him now? To, you know, recover some of my pain. Also, can we blow up those missile launchers? They're getting to be annoying. Uh, we have, should have an S-type plasma torpedo. <coughs> Jeez. <coughs> wow. The amount of damage he's taken is making me gag. So, continuing to blast away with the phas phasers. Keep them on overload. Keep doing as much damage as we can, and there we go. So we've managed to kill the heavy dreadnought. Now on to the Freedom, who decided it wanted to get up in our business. Freedom, of course, now doing a speed of uh, one, and slowly accelerating. Let's call our pseudo friggin' back before he dies, because I do anticipate him dying. And is 1.6 the yeah 1.6 is the maximum speed he's making right now? Oh, that is not going to end well for him. And there goes the freedom. That's right. You can count on it. Under a Romulan regime, there shall be no such silly things as freedom. After all, who needs them? Set a probe this way over to the planet. I do believe we uh, noted that it was a completely undefended planet. So we should be able to get in there and cause massive damage. Kick up the speed. We don't really need any defenses anymore. Speaking of which, uh, I keep forgetting to do this now that we're not actually going up against anything. Uh, cut all that crap. Because we don't need it. He, of course, has uh, eight Phaser 3s to be his primary defensive system. Okay, I guess we are going to need a little bit of power into the ECCM just to ensure maximum damage as we'll soar in into this planet. Relatively undefended. Technically, eight Phaser 3s could be dangerous to something, although this would be the kind of planet that I would probably be able to take on with a destroyer. And the only reason I say destroyer and not necessarily a frigate is because the frigate doesn't have enough transporters. A gun frigate might be able to do it. See, so yeah, we're just going max on BCCM. Uh, let's start to slow down and not smash ourselves into a planet. Because that would be bad. And uh, we will stop at around a distance of 5. Just to make sure that we don't... Uh, we stay outside of the range of those phase 3s, inside the range of the transporter, and also inside a pretty decent phaser range. 7, 6, and almost there. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. I know, we're being finicky. And there we go. All stop. Perfectly happy. All of them shoot. Blast away. I think we killed them all. Oops. You're kidding. Okay. 
That's a problem. You're kidding me, right? Oh, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so we have a problem. Hi. Um, can I beam over Marines? Can you try and capture the planet? Please? Pretty please? Oh my good graciousness. We have been through all of that. Every last blast and firefight. And we are thwarted because we did not pay attention to our supplies. I just... No words can express the amount of disappointment I have right now. We had the opportunity to do another successful homeworld assault that would have been 670 prestige. Ugh, oh, another planet taken, and no. No, we forgot that we were out of people to take the planet. I didn't quite realize that I had beamed over absolutely everybody in the last mission. That's... That's so very painful because of just how stupid that was. Oh, all of that wasted. Well, seven more missions to knock it down. We are able to come back home to the shipyard. Uh, 182 plus 32. We do, of course, need to buy several more. Uh, actually, hi, hey, do you got a King Condor in stock? No, you got a K10, which I'm not interested in. Nope, no King Condors. Because we are at the point where we could sell our ship and buy a King Condor. But it uh, does not appear to be any. There's another Rock X we could buy. So we will, of course, then go to supplies. Give me all your stuff. Wow, that's going to be like a thousand by the time we're done here. And buy all the Marines. Because this is the reason why we failed that mission. Because we ran out of Marines. And the AI is incapable of capturing planets. For reasons not quite adequately, exp adequately explained to me. So, after spending about a thousand prestige, we managed to get ourselves rearmed and repaired. And we will send ourselves back out there to try and continue to blast the soul system to pieces. But that will have to wait for another time. Anyway, I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I see these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment. What do you think was going through the minds of the people on that planet as we pulled up, blasted everything, and then stopped? What do you think was going through the minds of our crew as we pulled into parking orbit and was like, okay, now we can take the planet, and I will see you all in the next episode.